Viv Bosley. David is still remembered in Edmonton for his famous wall-to-wall -wall parties when hundreds of the in-crowd packed into the house that still stands half a block from the University of Alberta as testimony to the wild days. <laughs> An ancient prof said to me a couple of years ago that he always felt as if he was standing with his nose pressed against the window, watching as we all whooped it up. <laughs> um, this is all Viv, yeah? Yeah, that's all, that's all very um, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Canada, <laughs> Beverly McLaughlin, <laughs> said in an interview with the Globe and Mail a few years ago that one of her early sources of inspiration had been the philosophy courses she had taken from David <laughs> when she was Bev Getz, an Geet. undergraduate. Geet? <laughs> an undergraduate in education. He also lit fires under Bass Van Friesen. Brass. 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 Thanks very Brass. much. Brass. And uh, Stephen Burns, I can say that one. <laughs> and many others whose names slipped my uncertain mind. The Edmonton Journal published many of David's music reviews. He stunned the musical world with Edmonton's premiere performance of um, I'm Messiaen's. Thanks very much, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> you want to just carry on then? <laughs> my French isn't really up to this. Vers regards sur l'enfant Jésus. Okay. Twenty, get that? Okay. <laughs> Twenty looks at the infant Jesus. David brought avant-garde theatre to Edmonton audiences with Lonesco Jacques at the University Studio Theatre and Beckett's Happy Days at Walter Day Theatre. Uh, David knew everyone and everyone knew David. Not bad for a mere five years since. Steve Burns says he first met David when he was a professor at the University of Alberta and he's Steve, a new graduate student. Steve says, David contributed enormously to my philosophical education. But I also first heard of Olivier Messiaen because David gave a recital of the Vin Vagard. I saw my first Akira Kurosawa and Satyajit Ray films because David helped to run the film society. I first encountered Brechtian theater because David was translating, directing and acting in Arturo Ui. My years in Edmonton were interrupted by a scholarship year in Australia. On my return trip, I was to visit Paris. When I checked for mail at the post restaurant, there was a weightless blue aerogram in David's efficient black handwriting. He recommended the Sainte-Chapelle at a time of day calculated to get the best light for the time of year. He suggested starting the immense Louvre by visiting the Impressionists, then housed in the Jeux de Paume. Chartres might be worth a side trip. Railway station and times were detailed so that one could see the West Rose window in the afternoon light. So I had an extraordinarily accurate, detailed and inspiring tourist guide, tailored precisely to my needs and calculated to challenge my interests. The point is that David's remarkably generous pedagogy made a huge difference to my life. After Alberta, David taught philosophy at Birkbeck in London. Uh, I did philosophy with David from 1968 to 72. Um, he was there at my interview, and I think he actually read my my papers I put in, like Do Flowers Feel? Oh, yeah. He was, um, <laughs> he was an extremely good lecturer. He took me for modern philosophy and epistemology and metaphysics, which were really difficult subjects. His lectures were always lively, very interactive. You could never just nod off and listen. You had to interact and ask you questions. Um, he even drew a lot of people in on Friday afternoons because uh -huh. Birkbeck was an evening college yeah. so most of us had jobs so the commitment had to be there and David's lectures were always really stimulating um, we used to have philosophy weekends um, and David used to entertain us playing piano with colleague Roger Scruton um, so I thoroughly enjoyed my philosophy degree and it opened me up to having a lifelong interest in philosophy, in fact. Um, and my son went on to study philosophy. There you go. So you could say that David Murray had quite a profound effect on quite a few lives. This is from another composer. Richard Wilson. David is almost the only critic I know of who has taken an interest, uh, in, who has taken an enthusiastic, perceptive and discriminating interest in the newest, most forward-looking music. His early advocacy of Magnus Lindbergh and Thomas Addis. Thank you. And we could add Gruber, Kurtug, and even Elliot Carter and Janicek to that list. Now, in retrospect, seem prophetic. 
His succinct, fun to read writing about music, informed as it has been by a rich cultural background, including philosophical expertise and a keen knowledge of the theatre, will be missed particularly by those of us who are obliged to read from across the Atlantic. Thank you. Richard Wilson. Cheers. 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 And now I just want to say that um, we've heard lots about David being brilliant <laughs> <laughs> in lots of different ways. And I wanted to say that I just think I'm the luckiest person in the world to be married to him and it's been lovely and he's... As it was nice to hear Henrietta make the point about David having a very generous spirit because he's just an incredibly decent and lovely human being. And he continues to surprise me. <laughs> so, you know, and make me laugh, which is wonderful. Okay, that's it. Cheers. 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 Thanks for everybody sitting still all this time. Thank you. Thanks <laughs> things that have been said about me. I have a, an excellent wife and very nice children, which is a great pleasure. <laughs> the older one gets, the more one appreciates that. Um, I'm quite happy at 70 not you to You need to working. speak louder, David. I'm quite happy at 70 not to be working very much anymore. <laughs> right. That's very nice. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to say. I mean, I, <laughs> I've enjoyed my life very much, <laughs> but you've heard uh, a lot about it. I've got nothing to wear. Then we all got to eat Minnie's absolutely wonderful cake, which she has made just for us every year for as long as we can remember. Dear Minnie, thank you Minnie, it just set the seal on a lovely party. Mmm. -hmm.